is with the Olympic Games. The record shows the very first Olympic began in 776 BC in Olympia, Greece. The games were every four years and it lasted seven days. Since they had a lot of wars back then, they had to stop the war for seven days before and seven days during the games. The Olympic was declared open once the athlete lit the cauldron. Athlon was given to the winners. Instead of medals, they were given a wreath made of olive leaves, or they would get palm branches, woolen ribbons, or a life supply of food. There was an event known as the station race, where the athletes had to race the entire length of the stadium, which was 192 meters. In 724 BC, they had to race the entire length of the stadium and back to the start point. In 720 BC, the participants had to run 12 laps around the stadium. Later on, in the 520 BC to 500 BC, there were other races including life, armor race, and wheel race. The modern Olympics are a lot different today because of a very persistent Frenchman, Pierre de Coubertin. The International Olympic Committee finally adopted the Olympics in 1894, and the first Olympic began, Olympic Games were in, held in 1896 in Athens, Rome. Meaning of the, meaning of the Olympic symbols for the Olympic Games. The main three Olympic symbols are the rings. In 1913, Pierre de Coubertin designed the five rings, which represented the five continents, Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania. These rings on a, are set on a white background. The colors of each ring are blue, yellow, black, green, and red, which are in all the flags of the world. The motto, Sidious Altius Fortius, is Latin for faster, higher, and stronger, and the flame. The flame is a relay of modern times which transport from Greece to various places, which would be the next Olympic Games. In the ceremony, the athletes carry the torch and lights the cauldron. This means the games start. Mascots at the 2010 Olympics. There are four mascots named Miga. Miga is a sea bear. It transforms from an orca whale to a bear when it arrives on land. Quachi. Quachi is a hockey happy Sasquatch that reminds us of the mystery and wonder of the great Canadian wilderness. Sumi. Sumi is a Tamara, an animal spirit who wears the hat of the orc whale, flies with the wings of the mighty thunderbird, and runs on the three legs of the black bear. Sumi is passionate about the environment and is a fan of all Paralympic sports. These three, these three mascots have a buddy named Mukmuk. -Muk. The name comes from the Squamish word food, Mukamuk, because he likes to eat. A sport at the Winter Olympics that appeals to me. The sport that appeals to me is bobsledding. There are four people that control the bobsled, the driver, the two pushers, and the brakeman. The clock starts ticking when the sled breaks an electronic beam about 15 meters after the starting block. Then the driver enters first. The two pushers, now after the sled reaches 25 miles per hour, the brakeman is lost to jump in. What it takes to become an Olympic athlete. Don't assume you're too old or out of shape to make your dream of becoming an elite athlete come true. The oldest medalist was 72. Here are 10 steps you can take to become an athlete. One, assess your physical condition. Two, choose a sport. Three, find a place to train. Four, join your national governing body. Five, start competing. Six, get a coach. Seven, visualize your success. Eight, find financing. Nine, attend the national championship and 10, qualify for the Olympics.